Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I have a new video tutorial for Fortnite and Market and I'm going to show you the new collection. This is the Vintage Artistry Butter Mini Collection. Look the paper, how beautiful these they are. And I'm going, to, I select this one for the page that I'm going to create. Look this other. These are so pretty that I want to uh, show you all the collection. And this collection has two laser cut sheets of coordinating elements that I'm going to use. Look this arc window that I'm, what I decided to frame my photo with it. The butterflies is beautiful and it's new. So, uh, And I'm also I'm going to show you some of the flowers that I'm going to use. Look how pretty these are. Well, let's get started. This is the paper that I select and I'm going to prime the paper with clear gesso. I just apply a little amount and with uh, my spatula, I'm going to spread all the medium over the paper. Now I'm going to let it dry and meanwhile I am, I'm going to frame my photo. I select the arc window from the uh, laser cuts and I add a uh, liquid uh, adhesive and adhere the frame to the photo. And I'm going to add a piece of cardboard behind the photo to create dimension and to stand out the photo from the rest of the world once I put it uh, on the paper. Here is when I'm using modeling paste with heavy gesso, with white gesso. I'm going and I also using a stencil by Tim Holtz. I'm, I want to add a few, uh, some textures on the background. I just love the design in this stencil. I think it goes perfect with the beautiful paper. And I apply carefully here around the, where the arc window will be. I am first applying modeling paste and now I add a little gesso over all this um, texture over the paste. And I am carefully, I don't want to cover anything of the design of the paper. I'm trying to mix this, the, all the texture with the uh, paper design. And now I will continue adding textures uh, around all the area that the photo will be. And a little in the top part here. And now you can see here uh, how it looks so far. Now I'm, I'm going to use my heat tool to dry all the textures. It is the crazy stitching stamp and I have the verso mark and I'm going to use embossing powder. I select the zigzag design of the stamp and this paper on the background has a, a design like stitches, different stitches. So that is the reason that I select this stamp to make a uh, some of this design on the background and the embossing powder that I choose is in white color that I think and at the end that if I choose a, maybe a brown or a dark color it will look better so just my, just but but I want to let you know just in case that you want to try to do this and now uh, I select other design of the stamp uh, long stitches and I am sta um, stamping them uh, near to the first one. Once I remove the excess of the embossing powder, I use my heat tool to melt all the embossing powder and you can see here the design. Now it's time to add color and I'm going to use today the gelatos. I have one yellow that looks very similar to the center of the flower on the paper and I took a sponge and I am uh, rubbing, I am like a blending with the sponge, the color over all the textures here. And 
I also uh, apply the gelato direct over the paper just to intense a little the tone of the color of, of color but you know what I found that is easier if you wet a little the sponge if the sponge is wet uh, it will uh, blend better the color now I will continue adding color around all the, uh, the stencil work here with the yellow color once it's dry I took the gelato the white gelato and look what I did I rubbed the gelato very soft over all the textures and ah oh, I just love the effect it looks like a like a pearl not like a pearl but it's like a soft whitish effect on the on, in all the texture that they immediately highlight and enhance all the textures you, you let me I will try to show you uh, but I know that the video don't make adjusting to the textures now I add uh, more yellow uh, gelato and you can see here how it looks now I'm going to start to build my composition here and I select the white lace by 49 at market I also want to add a few of paper but first I, I, I paint a piece of the cheesecloth in the same yellow color and I add a piece of the cheesecloth over the lace and this is the laser cuts this uh, that I show you at the beginning and I am distressing with vintage photo the borders of the laser cut here and I am playing with the different uh, pieces and uh, creating layers with the with the three uh, materials and here is the paper that I choose I'm just a tuning pieces of this paper with my hand make different uh, pieces with the borders irregular borders and I'm distressing with the same vintage photo the borders of the paper and, jo and I'm just building layers with these different materials uh, here with these different uh, elements first the paper then I, I add the lace the cheesecloth and the la and the laser cuts and I just continue playing with the pieces now I think that I'm happy how everything looks so I'm, I'm adhering everything in this moment and I'm also adhere the photo here I cut off or trim off the excess of the paper and now it's time to embellish the, the my page and I'm using the different flowers that I show you with the laser cuts can see here I adhere everything look the layers I also add some 3d foam tapes on the back of the laser cuts to add some dimension and now it's time uh, to select the title and I'm using the layer embellishment the wonder and I I'm going to adhere the happiness word on on a piece of the card stock here of the paper and I cut around and it is my title now I want to add more texture and I'm using uh, glass beads this is a cream color is like a cream yellow very similar to the paper and I'm using gel medium to adhere all these glass beads 
and I'm trying to uh, put them in different layers behind the papers and you will see that I will add over the flowers around all, all the um, values, um, all the work. adding some pearls here and just randomly around all the uh, layers and all the, the work here and these are the wishing bubbles that I love so much and I'm going to add a few of them here and there <music> I am adding white paint splatter and it is the final step. Here is the final result. Look at how it looks. I just love it. It is very delicate and I just love that it has uh, many layers, many things, but looks delicate. And well, my friend, I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial, that it inspired you. And if you like it, let me know with a thumbs up. Let me know what do you think. And I see you soon with other video tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell. See you soon. Bye-bye. No pemo.